There are 19 cases in here. I wanted to give you guys a little tip though, and ha ask is there any... Get ready. 225, I forget, $54 with a 20% off. You screw this onto the tire valve, it happens to have a spigot on the... Right, in and plug it in and up, just as a test. And then if this works good on this tractor, because it's a narrow front and it's very tippy, I... Ventral washer, and I'll tell you what, this part it's uh, 14928. Today is hopefully the day I am going to uh, weight these two rear tires on the 59 Alice Chalmers D17. So these tires, they are Safe Mark Multi Angle M and B, whatever that means. But they are 14,928. Right down there, 14,928. Same thing on the other side. There it is, 14, 14.928. So I've got approximately a hundred and I think it was 114 gallons of windshield washer fluid here I want to give you guys a little tip first for buying this there are 19 cases of windshield washer fluid here with six gallons in each case so that means whatever 14 times or no 19 times six is That'll give you how many gallons I have in here. I wanted to give you guys a little tip for buying it. I uh, this, All of this stuff came from AutoZone. I bought pretty much an entire pallet full of windshield washer fluid to weight the tires in this tractor. Now the guys at AutoZone were nice enough to give me about a dollar and ten discount on every gallon. So each gallon ran me a dollar eighty nine instead of two almost three dollars roughly three dollars so they gave me a, a pretty hefty discount and I am very very thankful for that you have to ask though and ha ask is there any sort of discount that I can get if I buy buy it by the case or buy it in a set of twelve so all of this stuff it cost me a whopping, get ready, $225 in windshield washer fluid is sitting here in my Harbor Freight trailer. Uh, obviously these are about three and a half foot tall sides so they're stacked too high in here and I'm really glad I have these sides put on. They were also nice enough to help load. So, that is the plan. We're gonna put all of the windshield washer fluid as much as I can up to right about where the top of the valve stem goes. And I bought a pump from Harbor Freight. This is a non-submersible transfer pump. This was like 50, I forget, $54 with a 20% off coupon. It has a tenth of a horsepower motor. Uh, it only pulls two amps. It does 320 gallons per hour and has a 42 foot maxed lift, max li lift at zero gallons per minute of flow. Uh, draining an aquarium, flushing a tankless water heater, clearing clean water transfer. So I know this is a, not exactly what you're supposed to be using it for, but this is this is what I'm doing, and this is what I'm using. And I watched a guy, his name is Dave Knows How, 
and he made this manifold thing. So you the tire, you screw this onto the tire valve, and you have a a pressure gauge, so you can see how much pressure is going in. This is the pump side that comes from the pump, and then this is the return side for air. I will have the they use a garden hose on here to put this stuff in. And I also have a 55 gallon barrel that I've tried to do my best at cleaning. I use this for uh, boat motors to test boat motors out and it just so happens to have a spigot on the side of it for a garden hose hookup so I can you know fill this up and drain it with water to test my boat motors. But for this application, I think it'll work perfect. So, first things first, let's take out all the air in this thing. And always when you're filling the tires, put the valve stem as high up as it can go, which is probably right about in there. And we're gonna hopefully weight this tire. Uh, you guys will see how this works here shortly. First things first, we have to pull the plug or the valve stem, the valve core specifically, out of the valve stem of this tire and tube. So then I'm getting ready to put this manifold thing on and you just pretty much just screw it on and get all the hoses set up. It's really a somewhat simple setup. I wanted to show you the setup here that I have. So this is a, you can buy this adapter to go to hook onto the tire at Tractor Supply. And then the rest of all this stuff came from the clear hoses, the valves, and all this extra piping and the gauge and stuff all came from Home Depot. The barrel you can find online. You will need the pump from Harbor Freight and you will need some electric. Uh, it's a shame this pump doesn't have an on-off button. You plug it in in and or plug it in and unplug it so basically the theory is here once I fill this up with windshield washer fluid I'll probably I'll probably put probably 10 gallons in and see how that does it'll flow through the hose so I've got this valve open here it'll flow around and into the pump the pump will pump it up and into here so this valve here will have to be open and then I can see also that this valve here will have to be closed because we have to restrict it because the fluid, a little bit of fluid will go in here and the majority of the fluid will go back into the tank, which I don't want. So one of these is open, one of these is closed. So now with this gauge, I can watch how much PSI is in here and see what the pump is putting up or how much it's pumping. And up, I don't know what it's gonna be at till I start. So this is the setup. I am hoping this works. So I will unplug the pump whenever it gets to, I don't know, 40 or 50 PSI. Uh, I'm not gonna take it up nearly that high, maybe even 30 or something, but we'll see what it does. So then I will unplug the pump down here. And then what I'll do here is close off this valve, open this one up, so it'll let the air and stuff out. Once, the, um, once I hear that the air is all gone, then what I can do is close this one back again and then open this one back up and then continue pumping. So fortunately, this one barrel will hold everything that I need in one felled swoop, but I'm only gonna put in 10, 10 gallons to start with and see how this goes, uh, maybe even eight or something just uh, just as a test and then if this works good hopefully tonight I can do the other tire so that's the plan and I want to give Dave knows how he's the one that came up with this and I want to give him the credit for doing this this is not my idea this is his idea I don't know where he got it from or he made it up himself but I want to give him the credit for making this I guess it's like a manifold this white whole setup here so I will also make another video to 
for how you guys can build this and the parts list and stuff and then you can uh, build build your own I do, as far as I know you can't buy anything like that and I also want to say you do this at your own risk I'm not being held liable for this you do you do this at your own risk because yes I don't know how much PSI this pumps gonna put out it might put out 5 PSI it might put out 50 PSI I, I don't really know so I guess without further ado I'm gonna dump some windshield washer fluid in here and then let's start pumping hopefully this won't take too long uh, taking out the calcium that's why I did I'm doing all this taking out the calcium was definitely some work it was not the easiest thing to do but I did it and filling it would be even more difficult so that's why I decided to break down and buy a buy a pump and all this apparatus between the windshield washer fluid the pump and everything I probably have about 300 bucks in all this 325 350 somewhere around there so it was not cheap doing this but it's a lot cheaper than me dying on this tractor because it's a narrow front and it's very tippy I am not going to take the chance in doing that and also ruining possibly ruining this tractor after it's been flipped over you know a radiator for this thing's 600 bucks 500 bucks so I don't want to do anything to harm this tractor so let's get to this here we are putting in the I think it was 12 gallons 12 gallons that I put in and I have, it didn't take me long to figure out you can, you know, you have two hands, use both of them to pour these bottles in, two at a time, and it would have been nice to have a second person or even a third person, you could really get a lot of these bottles poured. So I've got pretty much everything all set up, and I figured out I had a leak the leak was coming from the this is the slime tire filling adapter I guess that's what I what they call it and it has like a little ball joint on it that lets it move and flex a little bit and that is where it was leaking so I decided to just use an empty bottle with a funnel to collect it. I do, during this whole process I probably lost about a gallon of it so I st still collected it in the bottle and then just put it back into the barrel. So we're just adding in more and more windshield washer fluid. Again this was my my absolute first time doing this so I uh, other than seeing this on YouTube I had never done this in person or seen anyone do this in real life so there was definitely some a learning curve but of course you know now I'm using I'm getting smarter I'm using these the containers here that are still full as a sort of a, a place to set the boxes and stuff down so I don't have to bend over to do this and it's I'll tell you what, this system really worked quite well. I'll give you guys a little spoiler here. This process, I, I mentioned this in at later on in the video, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to do this. To do this one tire. So that was with me, you know, pouring the bottles in and filling the tire, turning the pump on and off, and etc, etc. So what I decided to do for the other tire the other tire that I did that one I just filled up the b barrel here full of windshield washer fluid pretty much right up to the top as much as I could fit into it is exactly what I put in and then all I did was I just let the pump run turned on the one valve turned off the other and then I just watched the gauge you know as the gauge would slowly go up obviously there is as you're filling this tire you're filling it up with liquid so the air has to go somewhere so the more fluid that you put in that means the air is getting more and more pressurized and obviously eventually you will have to release the air somehow out of the tire and of course that's what that other valve is for 
I think I got this thing about three quarters full and I the pump finally hit like five PSI I think um, I don't think we even made it to ten maybe six seven eight PSI at the most and it seemed to seemed to work quite well now since I had a pretty much everything ready for the other tire it took me about 20 minutes of pumping to fill the tire so that's just 20 minutes of the pump running solid and I'll tell you this system it worked really really good I really like how well it worked it was pretty easy uh, pretty fast and you know once I have this manifold thing attachment whatever you would like to call it you know I can use this for other tractor tires also and I've even considered I'm seriously thinking about kind of doing this as a side business maybe filling tires for people because in my area I as far as I know I could not find anyone there is no one that does this that ballasts tires the dealers, the tractor dealers might have somebody, but there's, I looked on Marketplace, there wasn't anyone, no services doing tire ballasting, and I don't know, if you find a niche, you can maybe fill it. There you go, we have put uh, as much windshield washer fluid as I can inside of that tire. Now obviously we have a leak and that leak is coming from there's a, a ball joint in here and it's leaking out of the ball joint. I don't know how to make it stop leaking but Dave knows how had that same issue and he was able to tighten his up and I don't seem to be able to tighten mine up so but I'll tell you what the pump seemed to work pretty good. Uh, we had another little leak down there. I was just able to tighten that up by hand and haven't had an issue since. And I'll tell you what, this worked really good. So in... I had to figure out how long it took me to do this. I did it on the time lapse and it's like a fifteenth of the actual time. So the video, that clip was about five minutes, so five times fifteen is 75 minutes and that took took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do this 53 gallons of windshield washer fluid in the tire it would be cool to go out and do this for people you know jack up their tractors and fill them with windshield washer fluid and uh, I could see myself doing this. This is not super difficult, but I'll tell you what, that drip uh, really bothers me. But we've put at least 50 some gallons in there. And I should have enough to do the other tire. So I am very, very pleased with this. So there you go. That's how you can fill a 53 gallon tire. It's a 14,928 in an hour and 15 minutes so hope everyone enjoyed this video if you would give me a like and head on over to dave knows how and tell him love to bow 92 sent you and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and we will see you all in the next one